This is a demonstration of CS Tutor. There are several different data structure modes. We'll begin with linked list mode. Once it's selected, the code area is populated with the node definition and the main method. You can begin creating a list by simply sketching a node. You can connect the head pointer to the first node on the list by drawing a line. Each gesture we make has a relationship to a piece of code, shown in the top right of the canvas and in the code area. We can continue adding as many nodes as we want and connecting them with line gestures. When we connect them with a line gesture, the next arrow and the node are the same color for emphasis. We can also delete a node. First connect the temp pointer to the node you wish to delete, then bypass the node, then free the memory pointed to by temp. We can also implement a function. Here we add the add end function. We compile it, and then we call that function in the main method. Once we compile and run, we can step through each of the steps of the function with the show me button. The relevant code is displayed in the upper right of the canvas. During a loop, the iteration number is shown. Since cur is a local variable, when the add end function terminates, cur disappears. The doubly linked list interaction mode is very similar to the linked list. You can create a list by drawing a node, and a node is connected to the head pointer with a line gesture. Nodes are connected to each other by either drawing a line from the next memory box or the previous memory box, depending on what you want to do. Now we will show the binary search tree in interaction mode. To create a tree node, circle the value of your node. You can continue creating nodes and they are inserted into the tree automatically if they are added to the correct location according to the binary search tree property. Incorrect nodes are highlighted in red and must be removed. Correct nodes are highlighted in green. To delete a node, scratch it out. Each gesture has a relationship to a piece of code shown in the code area and on the canvas. Finally, we will show the heat mode, which is an implementation of a minimum binary heap. Nodes are added by circling the value. Since heaps are usually implemented using an array, an array is displayed below. If a node is less than its parent, it must be swapped up the tree with an up arrow gesture until it's in its correct position. The minimum element can be deleted by scratching it out. The replacement node is then tapped. And if it is greater than its children, it must be swapped down with the down arrow gesture.